everyone, Laura here with Planning My Day on Instagram. And I thought it'd be fun to give you a peek inside how I use the Erin Condren Daily Duo. I'll be going through it rather quickly. It's a couple of months, but here and there I'll be sharing uh, how I've used it, how I use it on a regular basis to literally plan my day. I hope you're inspired by what you see. And leave a comment below if you have any questions or how you use your own. And since I'm new to this, you'll see how I have changed things up a bit as we go on. I like to have a goals and intention page. And obviously here I'm bringing out the colors in the divider. The months are very messy. There are no stickers. And to be honest, that's one thing I've realized that I do like in my daily duo is no stickers, just ink and highlighters. I like to have a mail and order page, keeping track of everything. Here I tried doing a timeline because I find that when this can look cluttered because this will have everything, but when I have a timeline that just highlights major events, this kind of declutters my mind. And that's the whole purpose of the daily. You can see here I used two colors, a very light accented gray and then a yellow. Uh, here I was still trying to, okay, use this big section to break up the time. And you're gonna see as we go on that that did not work for me. I felt like I was lo losing a lot of prime real estate on this side. So you can see here I started to make things a little different. This is reality of life. We went camping in the RV. Oh no, this is when we went to visit our friends in Pensacola. I didn't have time to do all this stuff. So I made sure I hand wrote what we were doing and where we went so that when I do do my memory keeping I'll have a record of it so here there's not much here here I had more time I added a little color this is how I use it now I use the left side I just take <clears throat> what do you call that thing <laughs> I removed all the hours. Oh my gosh. And I have had enough coffee. Y'all know what I mean. It's going to come to me as soon as I stop filming, but I am so not going to start over again. So I use this for my tasks and I have two columns, one where I put the check mark or I draw the arrow that says it's not completed. And if it's not completed in that second column is where I'll highlight it. <clears throat> And you can see here I did yellow because it stood out a little better. And then on the bottom of the Saturday and Sunday, I have a carryover so that when I look back through the last week before I start the new one, I'll go, what have I still not finished? Okay, you'll see how it all comes together. <clears throat> this really works right here when I put a yellow for something I haven't done. And let's say I'm on Tuesday of the following week. Well, I'm still going to go back seven days and go through and check all of these that are yellow to see if I've completed them. If I have, I'll put a check mark. So you can see how I followed through and checked them off. I like to do the weather up here on the top right and on the bottom, I've used it several different ways, which I think is kind of fun and creative. Here I just didn't have time, but you know what? I still have the day logged. Down here I did a word of the day and I started writing my gratitude or my happy. This book right here is my basis for any other planners that I have. I always come here first and then I go fill out those other planners. Like my memory keeper, this is where my memories are. This is what is happening every day. Here you can see I did my two words of the day. I did the weather. These are the on the hour appointments and here's my gratitude and this is my task list. Arrow, yellow, it wasn't finished. Arrow, yellow with a check mark, it means I did finish it. Here, I never even filled this in. I do like the get her done, on the hour, the weather, and the check, the check sheet. This is what changes. And here's my October goals and intentions. And you see it's the same. I like that when I have the same format. Uh, it's easy to start and fill out the next month. And it also uh, quiets my brain when I'm trying to figure everything out. And so here we have 
some of the same things. It's a little plain, but I'm still following the same system. And then here, we went camping in our RV, so I really just wanted to bullet note the different things we did during the day. See, here's memories. Here's the stuff I wanted to get done because I had some time alone in the RV, which was fun. It was a rainy day. I got to craft and work on my memory journal, so that was fun. And here, instead of doing a carryover, I just summed up uh, the week. Here I was doing my weight. And this was a, this is from a book by my friend Cleary. It's called Focus. And each week she gives you one word to focus on to totally change your life. So it's a lot of fun. And I started writing down different excerpts from the chapter under the word of the week, which was diligent. <laughs> Voted. Voted. Here I changed it to gratitude. You can see how really it's the story of my life between these pages, isn't it? Now here's carryover. There's the word of the day. There's the gratitude. Didn't have a lot of time for this one, and that is okay. You can always tell when we go away on the trip. All right, now this is reality. This is how I use it planning forward. So I have my goals and intentions for November, sticky notes galore all over the place. These are some sticky notes. This will become more and more filled in as the month goes by. Here is our budget mail and order page. Here, now I'm really liking how I'm bringing these together right here. So I have my gratitude, my on the go. Here I did focus, which was prayer. Remember that book I was just telling you about? I still have my task lists. And then here's the word of the day. I always keep one sticky note that says, these are the things I want to get done this week. I have my divider right here. This was, gosh, let me just talk, blah, blah, blah. Here is the um, Erin Condren holiday launch and how I had all my different tasks for that. My get her done. Here was my focus word of the week rhythm and my gratitude for Thursday the 5th. You can see how I changed it up here. Here was my word of the day. And this is how I use it. I just put sticky notes on each day. And as I'm looking through back here and I go, gosh, I never did that. Where, where in the next coming 30 days do I want to put it down to get it on there? I always put the first two things, which is my chore and my design project. And you can see as I'm going through, I have nothing on these days yet, but here I want to prepare and film. Here is something that's coming up, and that's just the way I've done it. So I hope this has blessed you. I know that sometimes the planning world can be almost like a riddle. It's something that we're trying to unravel on our own, like, okay, how does this work? They say they plan, but how do they plan? How do you plan ahead? How do you backlog? So for me, when I see someone else's planner, it just makes me happy because it's insight into their lives and how they're pulling it all together and making it work. So again, I hope you are blessed by it. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a message in the comments below and share with me what's worked, what hasn't worked for you, what you want to change up, and any questions you have. And until we meet again, God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.